You may have recently talked to a marketing expert about placing the Facebook pixel on your Wix website. Doing so is easy and is one of the best ways to improve your ad targeting, retarget to visitors and customers of your website, and create smart conversion campaigns that can actually show your ad to people in your web audiences who are most likely to convert. I'll walk you through the entire process of adding Facebook's pixel to your Wix site, though be advised that you must have a Wix site connected to a domain, which requires a premium upgrade. Consult Wix pricing plans for more information. Let's first go to your ads manager and make sure you're in the right account. This is my Bengal pet store ads manager, which is where I want to be, so let's proceed on. Click on the hamburger icon up in the top left and then click on All Tools. Select Pixels under the Measure and Support column. If you haven't set up your pixel, scroll down slightly and click on Create a Pixel. You'll next have the opportunity to name your pixel, which you can choose to do or not. And don't worry, you can rename it later if you like. Next, click Create. Once the next screen loads, select View Setup Instructions, and then click on the top box titled Use an Integration or Tag Manager. Then select Wix in the upper left. We're going to pause here a moment and log into our Wix website. Click Sign In in the upper right and add your user credentials. Select the site you want to add the Facebook pixel to and click Manage Site in the right column menu. Then select Tracking and Analytics. If you're using a free Wix website, you'll need to upgrade. Then you can consult Wix's plan descriptions to learn how. Now, once you've upgraded, you'll see this screen. Click on Facebook Pixel and a box will appear asking you to submit your Facebook Pixel code. Let's go get that now. We'll go back to Ads Manager and let's copy and paste your pixel ID, which you'll find here. Now, let's return to our Wix website and copy our pixel ID into the text box. Next, hit Apply, and Wix will add the Facebook pixel code to every page of your website. We can check to see if our pixel is working by returning to our ads manager and hitting the refresh button. Note that it can take a few minutes to a few hours for pixel data to start appearing, though you shouldn't have to wait too long. As you can see, I've received eight pixel fires since I placed the pixel on my site. Now I can create custom and lookalike web audiences based on people who visit my site and create conversion campaigns that will allow me to distribute my ad to people in my audience who are most likely to take specific actions, like purchasing products or filling out lead forms. There's one final step. We can now start tracking new and even existing Facebook ad campaigns with the Facebook Pixel. That way, we can see how effective our ads are based on the number of people going to and taking actions on our website. To get started, let's go to an active campaign in our Ads Manager and drill down to the ad level by first clicking on the campaign and then the ad set name. At the ad level, I can attach the pixel to a single ad or multiple ads by clicking the checkbox here and then clicking Edit. Now scroll down to the tracking section and turn on the Facebook pixel. Finally, click Publish. Now, Facebook can track this ad's effectiveness by monitoring the website behavior of those who see or click on the ad. You'll want to make sure the pixel is working for you in this way on every ad you create. To learn more, visit facebook.com forward slash business or facebook.com forward slash blueprint for information and tutorials on the Facebook pixel, custom audiences, and much, much more.